When couples come in for therapy, what's very likely to happen is after they talk for a while, it becomes very clear that one of them is the identified patient, if you will, or the identified client. There's one of the partners who is decided from the other partner or especially the one that's more forceful that this partner is the weak link. In other words, if I worked on changing this partner, everything would work out better in the relationship. The problem with this attitude is it's not true and it doesn't work like that. In psychotherapy, in marriage therapy, it takes a true commitment to figuring out yourself. I've said to you before that the most important person in any relationship you will ever have, the most important thing is the relationship you have with yourself. Because the relationship you have with, your, with yourself determines every relationship you'll have with anybody else, including your significant other. So in a very real sense, in order to strengthen your relationship, the number one thing you have to do is strengthen yourself. Strengthen the relationship you have with yourself. How do you do that? Is it self-care? Well, it may be partly self-care if you feel like you're exploding or you're irritated whenever your partner does something. Maybe you are not getting the self-care or the me time you need. But once again, that's going to be up to you. These are the three things I think are essential. First of all, it's important that you become self-aware. How self-aware are you? How, how are you really viewing the relationship yourself? When there's a change made, are you taking it one-sided? Are you taking everything personally? Or can you see what's happening all around you? Are you able to step out of yourself to see what is actually the dynamics of what's happening in the relationship? And are you flexible enough and strong enough in yourself that you can make changes to become more self-aware, be able to see things more clearly without judgment? Secondly, I want you to try to focus on seeing what the problem is objectively. If you had a boss or you had a colleague who came to you with a problem, you wouldn't take one side. More than likely, you would try to look down at it. You would try to figure out what is actually going on? What are the dynamics? We don't do that in relationships. Part of the reason is because we're not self-aware. The other part is we want them to change. And that's not a that's just not a healthy way to look at your partner. What I want you to start doing is trying on new perspectives. I want you to start thinking out of the box without a good or bad label. Why do we get into this? Why do we go back to these old pattern? What is, in to, what is in this for us? Because nobody stays locked in an argument or confusion in a relationship if they're not getting some warm fuzzies or rewards from it. And lastly, consider what you really want from this relationship. Are you looking for a companion? Are you looking for a partner that you can share your life with? Are you looking for someone you can co-parent with? Are you looking for someone who will enhance your career? What do you want? And, you know, just telling me little things like I want a partner, I want you to write it down. What does having a partner look like to you? I want the specifics because if you don't have the specifics, you're not going to be able to see the picture clearly once you gain the self-awareness that you're, you're going to try and work on. The most important thing you can do to make an impact on the intimacy and the relationship you have today is to strengthen what you have going on in you.